Well, it's that wonderful time of the year again. The time where I start reviewing Thomas Related Media for Thomas Semper. I've been doing Thomas Semper for years now, and in all that time the show has gotten bigger in popularity. For better and mostly for worse nowadays. And every year I try to do a theme for each Thomas Semper. Like one year it would be the classic series, the other year it would be the TV specials, the other year it would be new series and new specials, and another year it would be the video games and so on and so forth. And last year I did a few trivial things, like forgotten characters, scrapped episodes, and the list goes on. And those were so popular that I decided to bring it back for this year, so I'm not bound to anything. But with stuff like, say, forgotten characters from past episodes in the series, I'm not going to do every single one of them, because there's just so many forgotten characters that would take up a lot of lists. So I'm just going to restrict it to, say, four or five of them per year. Because there are so many other forgotten characters for the TV series that are worth talking about. And this way I could just talk about whatever I want and I'm not bound to anything. So from now on, Thomas Sembo is just going to be the new series, new specials and a lot of trivial things that I feel are worth talking about. There's quite a bit to go through this year. So welcome to Thomas Sembo 2019. Ever since I did my Forgotten Characters and Scrapped Episodes Thomas Semba review last year, a lot of people have been commenting and bringing up characters that I forgot to talk about last year. So it only seems fair that I get to talk about some more Forgotten Characters this year. And because there are so many Forgotten Characters from the show, it would just take up so much of my time that I'm just going to do 4 or 5 characters per year. And the characters I've chosen to talk about for this year's Forgotten Characters category are Boko, Smudger, Bullstrode, Derek, and Fergus. Let's start off with Boko himself, a Mitch traffic engine diesel who primarily works on Edward's branch line and occasionally in the main line. A character introduced in the Valway series who was soon introduced to the TV series in the show's second series. Boko was first introduced in the series 2 episode The Diesel, where Bin and Ben were once called to the yard to shunt trucks for his train. When he takes the trucks without knowing that they shunted them, they retaliate and play a trick on him to teach him a lesson. But when Edward clears everything up, they apologise to Boko, and Boko apologises for not understanding about the trucks. He then appeared again in the episode Ron Road, where he helped Gordon out of a situation where Bill and Ben threatened to dump him into the sea. But it was obviously a joke, and obviously Gordon wasn't to know that, so he still believes that Boko saved his life. Boko even got an appearance in the episode Edward's Exploit, where he's encouraging the other engines to show more respect to Edward since he's old, but is full of surprises. He appeared in the Series 3 episode One Good Turn, where Bill and Ben began fighting after an incident with the turntable and soon began to give each other the silent treatment. Edward thought that this attitude was counterproductive and spread bad atmosphere in the yard. So Boko came up with a plan, convincing the Factotron to let him take a special. Boko's own heavy goods train was left behind, with only Bill and Ben to pull. Neither one was strong enough to pull it on their own, so they had to compromise and pull it together. Boko would make a cameo in Thomas and the Special Letter in Series 4, before making a big return in the episode Double Teething Troubles, where he helped out Derek on Gordon's Hill when he broke down because of his teething troubles with his cooling system. And ever since that episode of Series 5, Boko was never seen or heard of again. Boko became a really popular character since his debut in Series 2, and it's really a shame that he never got more screen time after Series 5. So for him to come back to work with Bill and Ben again would just be great for classic Thomas fans. The next character to talk about is Smudger, a narrow gauge tank engine who used to work on the mid Sodor railway and was later turned into a generator due to his tendency to derail frequently. Smudger, according to Duke, was a show-off who worked in the railway that he worked on with the other narrow gauge engines. Smudger would row roughly and often come off the rails. Duke tried to warn him to be careful but Smudger refused to listen to his advice. He was finally punished by being turned into a generator and being put behind the engine shed. The story was used by Duke to lecture Stuart and Falcon, now known as Peter Sam and Sir Handel, and the two engines became really useful engines after this. Now making a steam engine become a generator after a few mishaps is kind of a dark plot line when you think about it. In fact, has anyone ever found smudges since the landslides when they found Duke? No information was given about smudges' fate once the mid Sodor railway closed. So it must be assumed that he has either remained there, was moved to a different location, was restored back to work in order, or was scrapped. A very interesting thing about Smudger is that he was the first engine in the TV series to not be created by Robert Audrey. 
However, his role was based on that of Stanley from Duke the Lost Engine. So you could say that he may have been based off of Stanley, but was just given a different class and number and name. Very interesting bit of trivia right now. Series 4 also introduced us to Bolstrode, a highly disagreeable barge who used to carry cargo like coal and stone to Natford Harbour, but always complained about not being loaded fast enough. This annoyed the trucks, but one day Bolstrode ended up getting what he deserved when Percy accidentally pushed stone trucks off the quay into his hold, bursting a hole in his hull. He was then towed to the beach where children could play in him. He remains there today, most likely still grumbling. Since the engines often pass through that little lighthouse bit where Bullstrode is standing, I think it would be nice to see a few scenes with him moaning and complaining about his life as a playground for children. But what do you guys think? Despite never being seen again after this one episode, Bullstrode did make a couple of appearances in video games like Thomas and the Great Festival Adventure, and his face is even shown up on a couple of trucks every now and then. And his original TV series model was on display at Drayton Manor's Thomas Land, in hopefully good condition. Derek the Diesel, also known as Patsman, was a diesel whom the Fat Controller had sent in to help Bill and Ben with their work at the quarry. But Derek's cooling system overheated on Gordon's Hill upon his arrival and Boko had to come to the rescue. The news of the rescue went through the North Western Railway's rumour mill in due course, until a confused Percy informed Bill and Ben that Derek had two fakes. Bill and Ben were apprehensive of Derek as a result, but forgot their fear when Derek's cooling system overheated yet again and they had to help him home. Derek was then sent to the works to be mended. He later appeared in Colonel Engines, pulling a goods train up Gordon's Hill during the music video and tried to do things better. Derek is described as a jolly, enthusiastic diesel who likes hard work. Unfortunately, due to his engine, he is highly prone to teething troubles, namely overheating and suffering frequent breakdowns for which he is apologetic for the inconvenience. This is unfortunate since he wants to work hard, but Derek is a likeable chap and even Bill and Ben decided that they liked him due to his friendly nature. Derek was another one of those characters like the horrid lollies that got a good episode but nothing else was done more with them after that. And that's really a shame because Derek could have had the potential to have come back to the island to hope to be a better engine with a better engine. If you know what I mean. I've heard some rumours that Derek's teething troubles in the series was actually based off of his bases in real life, having similar problems with their real engines in real life, which is why their life probably ended so soon. And the final character I'm going to talk about for this year's Thomas Semba is Fergus, the railway traction engine who works at the Sodor Cement Works. Fergus was introduced in the Series 7 episode Bill, Ben and Fergus, where he was sent to the quarry to help Mavis and the twins with the work. The twins immediately began to get annoyed with Fergus, telling them to do it right. So when they brought a rock crusher to the quarry, they decided to do the opposite of what he told them to do, thus to do it wrong. However, their naughty actions nearly caused them to get caught in a landslide caused by the blasting and their heavy rock crusher. But Fergus managed to push them out of the way, only to end up in the rock slide himself. The twins managed to help Fergus out and apologise for their bad behaviour. Fergus appeared again in Salty Stormy Tell, where being brand new, got lost once and ended up at the scrapyards. Salty was sent to fetch him, and the two departed home. As they passed the lighthouse, the generator broke down, and the light in the lighthouse went out. Luckily, Salty suggested Fergus to use his flywheel to power the generator. The plan worked, and the ship managed to clear the path before it crashed into the rocks. Fergus's final appearance was in the episode Fergus Breaks the Rules, where the Fat Controller sent Devious Diesel to help Fergus at the cement work. Diesel soon started to find Fergus annoying with his do-it-right attitude, so he tricked him by telling him that the Fat Controller wanted him to work at the Sodor Ironworks, aka the Smelters. When Fergus arrived there, he found the place very scary, and when Harry and Bert showed up, Fergus and his driver immediately ran away. When the Fat Controller learned of Fergus's absence, he sent Thomas to search for him. Thomas eventually found Fergus, out of steam and hiding at an old quarry mine. Fergus was worried he would be in trouble, but when the Fat Controller heard the whole story, he punished Diesel by sending him to the smelters, and Fergus returned home, thankful for his friendship with Thomas and relieved he was still the pride of the cement works. Fergus can be described as a stickler for the rule book, since he knows it by heart, and his catchphrases do it right. His insistence on doing everything absolutely according to the rules can annoy the other engines, but he is a decent engine at heart, and will not hesitate to help others in trouble. He is also friendly to nearly everyone he meets. 
I've always found Fergus a very interesting character because I never knew that there was such a thing as a traction engine that ran on rails, since the only traction engines I knew of back then were like Trevor, who ran on roads instead of rails. So it's very interesting to learn that railway traction engines that run on the railways actually do exist. Fergus was another one of those characters that's always been interesting but never appeared again after the 7th series. The main reason Fergus never returned to the series after series 7 was because of some damage that was taken to his model after one of the episodes was filmed. During the filming of the episode Bill, Ben and Fergus, Fergus's model was damaged in the scene where he got buried in a rock slide. The model still worked, but the flywheel became temperamental. As a result, the model was never used again after the 7th series, and this model was never seen again until a model exhibition in 2019. Because the show is now CGI, they have the potential to bring him back in CGI form. And I kind of think it'd be cool to bring in an Irish actor to voice the character. And don't ask me why, I just for some reason think that an Irish accent would suit Fergus. And that's probably because of my Irish heritage, but I really think that an Irish accent would suit Fergus. Like perhaps him being voiced by the actor who played Dougal Maguire in Father Ted. That would be hilarious. And those are the forgotten Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends characters I will be talking about this year. There's a lot more forgotten characters to go through, but they'll all have to wait for the next few years of Thomas Semper. But for now, these are five of the many forgotten characters that don't deserve to be forgotten by any fan old and new, and deserve a lot more attention in the future of the TV series.